so welcome to this video lecture in this class we will discuss uh, how to find the inverse laplace of this function by using convolution theorem right so solution so given that given that what has given the question inverse laplace of 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 so this is equals to inverse laplace of we can divide this uh, function as product of two functions so observe here how i am dividing into 1 by s plus 2 so 1 by s plus 1 into 1 by s plus 2 now we have inverse laplace of two functions inverse laplace of a bar of s into g bar of s so by using convolution theorem we can write this as inverse laplace of 1 by s plus 1 means first function convolution inverse laplace of second function right ok so which is equals to inverse laplace of 1 by s plus 1 e power minus t star inverse laplace of 1 by s plus t e power minus 20 so now we have to find the convolution of these two functions equals to by the definition integration 0 to t first function but we have to replace variable with u and into second function now we have to replace the variable t with t minus u into du so which is equal to integration 0 to t so e power minus u into e power I'm multiplying this minus 2 inside minus 2 into t minus 2 minus 2t minus 2 minus plus 2u du equals to integration 0 to t e power minus u into e power minus 2t into e power 2u so if you under previous step back so just uh, apply the formula basis are equal you can add the powers right which is equal to so here we have to find the integration we have to take the integration of this function with respect to u so this middle function doesn't involve the term u so so this is this function have no u so that's why this function doesn't involve this integration so take this outside e power minus 2t 0 to t e power minus e into e power 2u dn right which is equals to e power minus 2t integration 0 to t so your basis equal so we can add powers minus 2u plus u du so which is equal to e power minus 2t 0 to t e power minus u plus 2 u, u du right so so e power minus 2t as it is integration of e power u du e power u only so e power minus 2t as it is integration of e power u e power u upper limit t lower limit 0 which is equals to e power minus 2t into now substitute upper limit that is e power t minus next substitute lower limit this one e power minus 2t into e power minus e power 0 1 e power t into e power e power 0 is 1 now multiply inside this e power minus 2 into e power t e power minus 2 t into e power t minus e power minus 2 t into 1 equals to here base equal then we can add the powers minus 2 t plus t minus e power minus 2 t equals to minus 2 t plus t minus t minus 2 t plus t minus t so e power minus 2 as is so this is the answer for the question inverse laplace of 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 so in this way we have to find the convolution of two functions let us see another example so we will find the inverse laplace of this function by using convolution theorem ok so let us uh, treat this as example 6 so we have to find the convolution of this inside function by using 
sorry, we have to find the inverse Laplace of this function by using conversion theorem, which is equals to now divide this inside function as product of two terms, product of two functions. So by using the conversion theorem, inverse Laplace of first function star inverse Laplace of second function. Right? Okay. Inverse Laplace of 1 by s plus 1 e power minus t star. Inverse Laplace of 1 by s plus 3 e power minus 3t. Now use the convolution definition, convolution of two functions definition, which is equal to integration 0 to t. So this is the definition of uh, convolution of two functions. f of t star g of t equals to 0 to t. First, we have to write first function as is, but we have to replace t with u. Second function also as it is, but we have to take the variable t as t minus u. And we have to find the integration of this product with respect to u. So e power minus u into e power minus 3 into t minus u du, which is equals to 0 to t e power u e power minus 3t plus 3u into du equal to 0 to t e power minus u into e power minus 3t into e power 3u du. So we can take this uh, t term outside e power minus 3 to 0 to t e power minus e into e power 3u du. So which is equal to e power minus 3t into 0 to t. So your basis equal, so we can add powers e power minus u plus 3u du equals to e power minus 3t integration 0 to t e power minus u plus 3u 2u du equals to e power minus 3t into integration of e power to u e power to u by 2 upper limit t lower limit 0. Now substitute upper limit and lower limit. So which is equal to just I am writing inside of uh, divided uh, denominator to outside. So we get like this e power 3t by 2 into e power 2u upper limit t lower limit 0. So I am taking this uh, inside denominator t outside. So we get like this. So equals t power minus 3t by 2. Now substitute upper limit t power 2t minus e power 2 into 0. e power minus 3t by 2 into e power 2t. e power 2 into 0, 2 into 0, 0, e power 0, 1. Now multiply this one inside. Divided by 2 as it is. e power minus 3 into e power 2t minus e power minus 3 into 1 equals to here basis equal so then add the powers e power minus 3t plus 2t minus e power minus 3t into 1 e power minus 3 that's all so divided by 2 as it is e power minus 3t plus 2t minus t minus e power minus t so thank you for watching if you like this video subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.